will be covered in darkness for three days. What will people do? We have an example of what people do during disasters, and it's not this. During the blizzards of the late 1990s, people shared blankets and food. During the power outages of the same year, uh, people pulled out the grills, stores gave away meat and ice cream, and people just had one big picnic. No rioting, no looting. Just people making the best of a bad situation. What will make this different is because the word says that 70% of the people will die and also that those that, that will survive will have faith like silver. The land will be renewed and angels will come down to live with people. Some of the nations of the world will be totally destroyed. That's what extra biblical sources say. Um, the Holy Church will rise again and every knee will bow to the Holy Trinity. We have to, to remember that the events of Revelation mirrors the events of the Exodus. The place where Egypt was plunged into darkness was uh, considered the worst. That is where the angel of darkness killed all the firstborn of Egypt. That was the time uh, that the father told Moses to tell the Hebrews to borrow all the gold jewelry from the Egyptian women, paint the doorposts of their homes with the blood of the lamb, and walk out at 3 a.m. These commands were followed and the Hebrew people were freed. The gold was later used to make a golden calf. The system of the Pharaohs is our present system. It is, the, it is a worldwide judgment for a worldwide system. So the whole world will be covered in darkness for three days. The Hebrew people were unaffected by the plagues. They were affected by the Egyptians, however. That will be the state of the judgments of the book of Revelation. In the book of Isaiah, it is stated that the crowd will be humbled. This is similar to the statement of Revelation where the mighty men will hide themselves in the mountains and pray for rocks to fall on them. And Zechariah talks about a flying world that flies to the house of those who falsely go by the name. It burns down the houses and stands over this completely burned. This event could happen during the three days of darkness. Think about it. What can kill 75% of the world's population in just three days? Is it the angel of death? This may be the case as during the exodus. There are two other options. First is the story of the gold. The gold was a man made of clay. He was alive when he had no soul. The story of Frankenstein was the story of a golem. A priest formed a golem. Um, and with magic he brings it to life. The unspeakable name of God is written on his head and the golem was ready. It is said that if the golem was left on its own, it will kill all the people in the world in three days. It is strange that the golem can do it in three days and the prophecy states that the uh, darkness will last for three days. That's why they are created. A newborn army doesn't need thousands like a human army. No human army could stand against them. Another legend to consider is the legend of Sigmund. Sigmund was the original lady in red. She was said to be the eye of Ra, the vengeful part of Hathor. Ra sent Sekhmet to kill some people that was plotting against him. She uh, tried to kill all the people. Sekhmet was drinking the blood and killed with such relish that all humanity would have died within three days if Ra did not get Sekhmet drunk on red beer. She passed out and returned to the other gods when she awakened. 
segment was said to aid the pharaohs while shooting arrows during war. In the end, we don't know what would kill so many people during this time. All we know is that if we have our doorposts covered with the blood of the lamb, we'll be fine. People always want to prepare for hard times physically, but few really want to go and prepare spiritually.